hello guys in today's video we are going to say about stages of environmental audit okay this is uh, different from environmental audit report and the stages okay but you'll have the similar points as well so ea is completely similar okay you if you know about a particular topic you can use that in the other uh, topics as well so make sure that you read the question thoroughly so here it is stages generally it will be environmental audit report okay now let's see uh, also uh, i have written only the important points please listen to the complete video carefully and make sure that you write the points along with me because uh, it is uh, if i write all these points and uh, read them individually and explain it will be a lengthier video so i'm just making it short just by explaining you instead of writing all the points now let's see the stages we have three stages here pre audit activities on site and uh, post audit activities let's see first pre audit so pre audit activities incorporate all the activities involved which are prior to the on site audit of the proposed projects so the uh, following requirements must be fulfilled before taking up an environmental audit okay first one is preparation for organizing and scheduling the audit procedure see just by reading the sponge you can clearly understand what is what okay and then second one is we have to organize or appoint an audit team or audit management committee to conduct the field assessment why to collect and analyze the information and then make judgment about the proposed projects and its environmental compliance status so this audit team will generally comprises of about 8 people okay uh, who are the subject spe specialist with uh, technical expertise and uh, qualified external consultants or full time auditors or representatives of the business units or the company so these members will be appointed in the audit team and they should be familiar with all the principles of the environmental auditing process that means they should know everything clearly these eight people who are in the uh, team or committee and this amc appoints the audit team leader as well for for every committee there will be one leader uh, just to make sure that that person is monitoring the complete auditing process and then this team needs to be given travel and lodging arrangements as well because uh, they have to Uh, monitor everything right so they'll be traveling from one place to another so this committee itself should bear all those expenses of the team complete team okay and then we'll uh, after this organizing the appointment uh, team will have one analysis of the project and then we'll go for preparation for the site visit to collect the background information like uh, site layout site history blueprints organizational structure etc so and after the all this we have to prepare a questionnaire so why this questionnaire is it is to collect the necessary information of the audit site before uh, starting on uh, on site activities okay you all uh, you should completely write all these points in the pre audit activities only okay for on site and for post we have the other points as well and this questionnaire Uh, should cover all the aspects of the environment uh, which has to be completed by the internal auditor and uh, a sample of the questions uh, generally like uh, for example if you take any project what kind of questions do we have to go for so i have just written just few questions and i'll tell you few more questions and by explaining them like first one is the site owned or leased what is the date of purchase of the site what is the area of site what are the remedial measures or corrective actions that are to be taken for uh, environmental management and uh, is an inventory maintained for the office office uh, supplies inventory is like storage okay and uh, what are the records of the energy used for the site and what are the sources of water supply so you have to write general questions only okay you don't have to go very deeper and then you have to after writing all these several questions you have to include different different topics see here i wrote only about the site or area and the remedial measures you can also add uh, water supply and then energy how much energy you are using for the particular site so you have to include the various topics okay various topics questions 
and then after that you have to make sure that you are including air quality man monitoring wastewater management uh, material management hazardous material management so all these are uh, you can just include in the questions like what is the water supply what kind of measures are you taking for uh, monitoring the hazardous material management so you have to frame the questions accordingly and make sure that you write these questions in the exam as well just to make sure that you uh, it will just give a different uh, impact for the one who are correcting your paper okay and then after all these questions you have to obtain a commitment from the head of the company or organization or the project about all these pre audit activities and then you have to communicate the same to all the employees how you uh, it's about uh, it's up to you that you want to communicate to all the employees like uh, having a meeting or sending a mail or uh, any different kind of uh, virtual contact that uh, the conversation or the complete thing is up to you and then you have to include the following like confirmation to the regulations pollution management and treatment of pollutants and so these are all the areas of the audit you have to include prior to the on-site activities see on-site is itself you have to go to the project site and then you have to do the audit process so before going to there only you have to complete all these things which i have mentioned till now so make sure that you listen to the video carefully and then you write the points clearly okay and then we'll see now on-site activities so on-site activities will include all these things first is a verification of the records and the relevant documents like related to the proposed project so it will include management policies records of the inventory monitoring transportation and previous audit reports and minutes of meeting and uh, records of the suggestions given etc so all these things you have to verify and then confidential interviews with the members employed with the project from all the levels of organization that is from the senior management to the support personnel and these interviews must be conducted at the workstation without interfering the job performance that means if you are taking an interview today make sure that no employee uh, is getting affected with that job performance because sometimes what happens when a person is working in the on the site and you call him for an interview so what happens whatever the work that person has to do it will be left so you have to make sure that you will cover all these interview sessions uh, without interfering the job performance and this interviewer who are uh, interviewing the employees or they should make sure that that interview is confidential and uh, you shouldn't uh, give out the questions to any other people and then inspection of the proposed project site and the operation process equipment and uh, in-depth field survey so all these things you have to uh, take care that you assess the pollution control measures undertaken and uh, for compliance with legislature and regulatory requirements internal policies guidelines etc so all these things you have to include in the inspection process and then review of the safety measures to be implemented and then identification of various aspects on how to improve the environmental performance and uh, closing meeting so before the conclusion of the site audit you have to make sure that the audit evidence must be reviewed for the adequacy of the collected information that means they have uh, collected the enough information or not just to um, go for the next step and uh, we don't face any lack of information there okay and then uh, marking the issues that uh, need to be followed up later on so all these things you have to uh, verify and then um, the closing meeting means it's a conclusion of the on-site activities that means you are uh, completed with the on-site activities and then you'll go for the post audit activities so in these things you have to discuss all the findings and observations of the audit with the project personnel and then you have to analyze all the issues that are need that will need immediate attention and then mitigation measures corrective actions and uh, reporting schedules and these findings and observations whatever uh, we have uh, uh, taken during the audit process you have to document also okay 
in EIA, everything needs to be documented, not just EIA, that's a basic thing uh, in every field or in every domain, whatever the things are there, you have to document them for sure, just to make sure that you have all the things, whatever you have discussed with you and then for the later on use and for the other employees who missed that meetings or uh, any kind of sessions to be uh, to attend and uh, so you have to make sure that documentary is the most important thing and uh, for this onset activity we'll have document for the pre audit we'll have document for the post audit also we have document together we write it as environmental audit report okay these are stages for individual stage also we'll have reports okay and now let's see post audit reports and this post audit uh, reports are like once the onset activities are completed this activities will be followed like where the data collected whatever the data is translated into some meaningful information like there uh, for example you wrote onset the land is this much area uh, you have this uh, all facilities like water supply energy and so you just write it uh, uh, normally so here you will be translating them into meaningful sentences and meaningful information like uh, in the onset process whatever you find whatever you observe you'll write all them but you have to make sure that whatever you observe and whatever you find are related to your project so that is what we do here okay and then team leader of the audit report will be preparing the draft report for this onset activities how long it should be is in within the two weeks of the onset activity only this step is followed by the review of the report as well so who will be reviewing is uh, environmental department and law department etc so all these uh, departments will be reviewing the environmental audit report whatever they prefer uh, prepared and the final report will be prepared by the same audit team as well and then uh, for we i mean while preparing this final report they will get the help from the other specialist okay and uh, this will contain the statements, facts and proposals on how to improve the environmental performance, improvements in the education or awareness raising. So all these things will be included in the final report. And then this audit report will be circulated to all the members of the audit team. We have discussed, right, we'll have eight members in the team. So all the members will be uh, acknowledged with this audit report and then uh, along with the eight members, we also have uh, management committees senior site auditors so uh, all these people should be acknowledged with this audit report so basically in environmental audit report uh, we'll have summary and then introduction and then scope description so the same thing will be in this final report as well okay all these things executive summary introduction scope description summary conclusion and analysis so make sure that you listen to this video clearly because i have uh, uh, explain to you more points than writing here I have just included only the important points here so please uh, go through each and every point in detail okay thank you